Breaking news. Please stand by for another. C2C World News Now Current Event. Hello on this 24th day of August 2016. Welcome to another breaking news report brought to you by C2C World News. 6.8 earthquake strikes central Maine Maraz, reported by USGS. An earthquake of 6.8 magnitude struck central Myanmar on Wednesday, U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, said, shaking buildings across the country and the region. The quake struck 143 kilometers west of the city of Miaktila at a depth of 84 kilometers, the agency said. There were no immediate reports of casualties or damage. The quake shook buildings and buildings in Myanmar's biggest city of Yangon and in other towns and cities, witnesses said. Office buildings in the Thai capital of Bangkok, to the east of Myanmar, shook for a few seconds, residents there said. The quake was also felt in Bangladesh, to the west of Myanmar. According to additional sources indicating that a 6.8 magnitude earthquake shook central Myanmar on Wednesday, killing at least three people including two children. The quake also appears to have damaged some of the famous pagodas in the Southeast Asian nation's ancient capital of Bagan. A fire department official from regional capital Megwe said two young girls were killed when the riverbank gave way in Yenankaon Township, south of Chowauk. Reports also indicate at least one person was killed, and another injured when a tobacco processing factory collapsed in the town of Pakoku, to the north, the duty officer at the local fire department said. My house shook during the quake. Many people were scared and they ran out of the buildings, said Mahong Mahong Kia, a local official of the ruling National League for Democracy, NLD, party. Some of the old buildings have cracks. The biggest damage is to the bank building in the town. The damage to other buildings isn't as significant. The quake struck at a relatively deep 84 kilometers, 52 miles, the USGS said. Shook is about 35 kilometers, 20 miles from Bagan, known as the City of Four Million Pagodas and a major draw for Myanmar's nascent tourism industry. Yangon-based travel agent Amy Saw, who had been in touch with her firm's Bagan office, said some of the pagodas there had been damaged, and the Ministry of Religious Affairs put the number sustaining some kind of damage at 65. According to the 2014 census, Chaok has a population of about 45,000, with around 185,000 living in the surrounding area. It was a thriving oil field during the British colonial era. There were no other confirmed casualties, and early reports suggested limited damage overall. Thank you for viewing and please stay tuned for additional breaking news related to this event. This has been a C2C World News Now current event. Stay safe, everyone.